We're going to go over the basics of Edmodo, which is a learning management system called an LMS that uh, we use here at Denver. It's a way to kind of organize all of your class content uh, digitally so you can access it electronically. I'm going to try to go through it in five minutes or less, so here we go. If you do not already have an Edmodo account, you can hit the I'm a student button and you can create a profile this way. A group code is a thing that your teacher will give you so that you can enter the class. So in order to do that, you need a group code to begin with. If you already have an account and you remember your information, you can go ahead and log in. If you don't remember your information, you can hit forgot your password or it's possible you could contact Mrs. Huff and she could try to find that information for you. When you first log in, uh, it looks a little bit different now, but uh, this is the page for Paco Pitaco. He's a student, and this is all of Paco Pitaco's stuff for this class that he is enrolled in over here. It all shows up in the most recent to, um, you know, the latest, so the most recent stuff will always be on top. If you need to uh, enter a new class, so you need to join Mr. Swales' class or Ms. Hartman's class, you hit the little plus sign button and it's again going to ask you for that group code. You type in the group code uh, for your new class and you are automatically joined. Now all of this stuff is going to show up here also. If you get a lot of classes and you just want to focus only on one class or the other, you can click it and it will only show you that one class's stuff. Um, so that's that class. Click on this, it'll just show me this class. So that's one way you can kind of organize it. You can also click here and kind of change the colors if that matters to you. Things that you can do on here. Um, you can see here I sent uh, a note to Mrs. Huff earlier, but up here you can uh, type a note or upload a file or a link. Um, we'll talk about backpack in a later Edmodo thing. But this is where you would uh, type a thing like, I'm going to do extra credit. Or something that your teacher needs to know. If your teacher doesn't need to know anything, maybe you don't want to send a note in Edmodo. But you can send a note uh, thank you, to uh, your teacher. You can send it to yourself or you can send it to the whole classes. Recommend you do not send anything to the entire classes unless your teacher has asked you to. Mostly just because it's a little bit annoying uh, when students do that. But if there's a need to send all of your stuff to everybody, then find all your stuff to everybody. But usually, that's what you do. You hit send, and then that is going to be sent to Mrs. Huff, and it'll look just like that. Other things you'll see here is your teacher may send you an assignment. Um, this is what an assignment looks like. It has a nice button here called turned in. Oh, turned in. And you can see Paco's already done this, and he's waiting for a grade. So Paco has turned this in, and he's waiting for a grade. If we scroll down even further, we'll find that he did not do this assignment. It, is, it was due January 18th. It's a little bit late. So if he wants to do it, he'll hit Turn In, and it'll bring up a brand new page. It'll have directions there. It'll have what you need to do. Down here is where the student actually turns something in or does something. You can type your responses if it's something you need to type, like a paragraph or a couple sentences. Otherwise, there's a place here for you to upload a file or a link if you, it's something you want to turn in by a link. So I'm just going to randomly have to turn in this document. I'm going to turn it in. Oh, I have to say that it was not taught in class or that it was awesome. And then Paco Pitaco has turned in this assignment. If I need to do another assignment, like revisions of it, there's a button here for, say, resubmit an assignment so you can turn in a new version later. But that is an assignment, and that's what those look like. Quizzes are a little bit different. If I can find a quiz, it'll have a take quiz button. The one thing you need to know about take quiz is once you start it, you can't get out of it. It'll lock you out of it. So do not open a quiz unless your teacher is telling you to or unless you know you have enough time to finish it. Last thing we're going to go over in the Edmodo Basics is up here under Me and Account is where you can mess with your profile and your settings and kind of adjust it. Underneath Profile you can you know select your favorite quote, how you like to learn, your career goals. Underneath Settings, so underneath Me and then Settings is where you can pick a photo um, change your name, put in an email address if you want to add your email address, and you can also get email and text updates. 
um, sent to you when certain things are done. So if you want to be text every time there's a new assignment posted, or alerts are kind of a good one because teachers mainly only use those when it's something really important, um, maybe a quiz or something, but you can sign up for text messages so you know when that stuff is added. Uh, do not sign up for text messages or emails for replies or maybe even notes just because you'll get messages all the time. So I recommend you don't do that. Those are the basics of Edmodo and I hope that that is helpful.